Now, this is the one I've been waiting on right here. Let's get right into it. First and foremost, you guys called me out in the comments about not adding Caitlyn Chen into that top 10, and you were absolutely correct. Huge oversight on my part. One of, if not the best point guards in the portal, this grad transfer from Princeton, crafty. Very, very crafty game. Gets to the rack at will. Um, worked on her jumper. Improved three-pointer. Pull-up game strong. Now, there's been a lot of talk linking her to UConn, especially since Enos Betancourt has entered the portal. That opens up a spot for her. But Stanford's interested. LSU is interested. Maybe she wants to return home back to California. Who knows? I'm always rooting for that. We'll see. What I do know is that whenever she does announce where she's going, I'll be here to let you guys know because I will not make that same mistake twice. Now, this is the big one, at least in my eyes. The best power forward in the country, Kiki Arifin. 6'3", junior out of Los Angeles, California, averaged 19.4 points and 11 rebounds last season. She's saying goodbye to Stanford. Now, before she went to Stanford, she had a list of finalists that included Baylor, UCLA, UConn, and Notre Dame. So maybe she'll go with one of those. Maybe she'll add a new team on the list, seeing as how now Stanford is off of that list. And again, maybe she'll go back home to California. Seems to be the thing here for the day, at least for me um we shall see and when i say california i don't mean ucla but i mean who knows she's a pro ready talent that can shoot dribble defend dunk do it all so make sure you subscribe if you want to know where she lands i'll definitely be here to give that update former kentucky sophomore guard amaya jenkins entered the transfer portal on thursday bringing a total of players now leaving kentucky up to nine those players including her are A.J. Petty, Jordy Griggs, Zaniah Russell, Janae Walker, Zaniah Thomas, Naya Leveretter, Brooklyn Miles, and Maddie Sher. Kentucky also loses 6'5 high school recruit Ramiah White, who has decided to decommit. The only players left from last year's team are sophomore guards Zaniah Taylor and Cassidy Rowe. Now, last video, we mentioned Georgia Amore coming over from Virginia Tech with Kenny Brooks, but Clara Strack is also transferring. Kara Strax, a 6'5 freshman who filled in really nicely for uh, Elizabeth Killing when she was injured during those five, last five games of the season. She took her averages from 4.5 points and 4 rebounds up to 9.5 points and 6.8 rebounds with 2.2 blocks. So, I mean, she kept it going in the tournament. Total of 35 points, 13 for 15, shooting 15 rebounds and 6 blocks in, in two games combined. So, she really showed the kind of potential that she has in a bigger role. They're also bringing along two players that were formerly committed to Virginia Tech, Lexi Blue, a 6'2 guard out of Orlando, Florida, and Amelia Hassett, a 6'3 forward from Australia. It's going to be really interesting to see how that team fills out. Uh, no word yet from Clara Silva, the 6'6 center from Portugal, who's only 17, but really highly touted international player, so could could really help that team with seeing as how they have no, nobody else to do it. Oregon State coach Scott Ruick loses yet another player to the transfer portal as Regan Beers has joined her teammates, six other teammates, in fact. The sophomore, 6'4 sophomore, averaged 17.5 points and 10.3 rebounds last season. Um, she really made a name for herself in the tournament. Um, part of it was the mask. Part of it was the way she was bully balling everybody and everything in her way. She was just destroying. Um, she was a problem keeping off the free throw line as well. Put a lot of teams in foul trouble. Now, she was joined by Donovan Hunter, six-foot freshman guard, Lily Hansford, a 6'2 sophomore guard, and Martha Piesh, a 5'5 sophomore guard. They joined their teammates who already entered the portal, Adley Blacklock, a six-foot sophomore guard, and also Talia Van Olhoff, 6'4 sophomore forward, Janaya Barkers. She's headed out of Texas A&M. She's also entered her do-not-contact tag. 12.2 um, points, 7.6 rebounds. 48% field goal percentage, so pretty efficient, pretty productive player. She's uh, joined by Tania Hilton, junior, 5'7", average 4.1 points and 1.9 rebounds. KK Green, senior guard, 5'6", average 2.7 points and 1.2 rebounds. And also Malia Johnson, a 6'3", junior forward, who averaged 3 points, 3 rebounds last season. All right, Tamara Poindexter, 6'1", junior forward. Plays in Tulsa, Oklahoma, averaged 21 points last season, a pure bucket, 43%, five rebounds, 1.9 assists. One thing that I always wonder when I see a player who went, who chose to play in-state, when they transfer, will they also choose to be close to home? Like, will that still be a factor, or are they over at this point? We'll see. Nothing we can do but wait and see, but 
interesting thought, at least to me. Tessa Miller, 6'2", junior four. She's leaving Belmont. 14.4 uh, points last season, 6.2 rebounds, 57.9 from the field. She's in a transfer portal. Kateri Poole, we still haven't heard much from her uh, ever since she parted ways with LSU, but she is in a transfer portal, so we'll keep an eye out on what happens there. Janae Kent, 6'1", freshman at LSU. Didn't see much action last season. She's transferring. Miracle Shepard. 5'10 freshman. She's leaving Mississippi State. Averaged 5 points and 2.6 rebounds, 2.1 assists last. Casey Donovan, 6'1 senior guard. Averaged 11.6 points and 4 rebounds last season. She's leaving. Uh, Letitia Lattimore and Lazaria Spearman. They're both headed out of Miami. Um, leaving the Hurricanes, Letitia averaged 5.6 rebounds last season. And Lazaria was 6.3 rebounds. I'm sorry, 6.3 points and 6 rebounds. Kayla Williams, 5'7", senior guard out of Los Angeles, California, who played with USC last season. She'll be a senior transfer, as will Alexia Smith, who played with Virginia. Smith is a 5'8", guard out of Columbus, Ohio, who averaged 4.1 points and 3.8 assists last season. Now, we're going to get to the point soon where more players are finding teams and leaving teams, and some players already have. C.C. Alico, the 6'2", sophomore forward, averaged 16 points and 10 rebounds last season. She's going to Eastern Michigan University. Hannah Gusters, 6'5", senior center, averaged 14 points and 4 rebounds last season. She's going to UCF. Grace Townsend, who averaged 13.4 points and 4.9 rebounds last season. The 5'5", five five seniors headed to North Carolina. Amaya Simmons, 5'9", junior guard, averaged 16 points and 3.9 rebounds. She's going to San Jose State. Hattie Ogden averaged 7.5 points and 4.5 rebounds. 6'2 sophomores headed to BYU. Macy Hoard. You already see it. It's no surprise there. Oklahoma State is where she's going. Chet Nwiki. Nweke. Sorry about that. She's headed to Georgetown. Six foot senior. Layla Cox, six foot junior four, averaged 5.1 points and 3.1 rebounds. She's going to Radford. Michaela Elmore, leaving Clemson. She's headed to Pitt. She's already holding the ball, so you see it. And last but not least, Messiah Hunter, the 6'2 sophomore forward. She's going to Seton Hall. There's already more people finding homes as we speak. I'll be sure to get them in on the next one. Until then, y'all have a good one.